I got into punk rock and that kind of changed my life because before that I'd been brought up in a Mormon family and we did things a certain way. Punk rock gave me the, the license to, to kind of move away from all that and try and work out new ways of doing things. We found out about this band called Crass, probably about the same time as Two Tone, where we were aware that they were setting up a way of being a band that was different to everybody else, i.e. they were living communally in a squatted building. And it just made you think, if we're going to have a band, let's not do it in a kind of typical way and, you know, all live in our nice, you know, student bedsits and then come together to rehearse. Let's find somewhere to live together. And we found this big old Victorian, it was a mansion really. Originally, in the 1950s, it had had a tennis court in the back. And it had been abandoned and some kids had tried to burn it down. It had no doors or light fixtures, no electrics, no running water. It was a complete wreck. And it was just this beautiful big old red brick building that was just being left to rot. And uh, we moved in just with sleeping bags and just kind of decided between about three or four of us, let's see if we can build it back up together again. You know, I, I actually went to the library and got out the AA book of do it yourself and looked up how to rewire a house. I didn't know anything about electricity whatsoever. I had to borrow some Wellingtons because it's safer to wear, you know, rubber shoes and I had rubber gloves to start rewiring the entire house. And having to learn, and it to me that was DIY and that was that was punk in the extreme. It was like, right, I've never done this before, I'm gonna learn it. And you know, and Dan meanwhile was outside trying to fix the drains, which were all, he was digging up, digging literally three or four feet under the earth, trying to find blockages in drains. And we worked out how to make doors that fitted on and banisters and light fixtures. And over about two years, it became a lovely, beautiful, livable house. And at the beginning of the Rough Tough musical, the opening scene is a bunch of people Coming in, you see them building up this squatting agency. You see them putting things together and hammering on things and, you know, doing it rhythmically to music. And it happened because of the inspiration of, of people going, if you want to create something, don't wait for politicians or anyone to tell you how you might be able to do it. You know, reading Jerry Dammers, going to art school and already having those ideas of what he wanted this thing to be and already planning in his head what people could wear and what they were going to sound like and all that sort of thing. That's the brilliant bit, is having the idea that you can do something. 